Hello everyone and welcome to the ATEC channel. We hope you're well and looking forward to the new topic of the day. Today, we're going to look at something that's near and dear to our hearts. We'll be talking about marine renewable energy. Global warming has given a rise to ideas for solutions to limit greenhouse gas emissions. Using renewable energy instead or in addition to fossil fuels appears to be a good solution to reduce CO2 emissions. Renewable energy is provided by the sun, the wind, the heat of the earth, waterfalls, and currents among others. It allows the production of electricity, but more than that. We count the production of heat, cold, gas, and oil. Considered inexhaustible on a human time scale, these energy sources produce little to no waste or polluting emissions. They're different from fossil fuels. Fossil energies pollute and their supply is becoming increasingly scarce. Finally, renewable energies are more sustainable, especially in the case of a crisis. Let's discover all of this in a video. Above all, stay until the end. We're going to reveal which renewable energy uses marine power is being considered as a solution to supply coastal areas with electricity. Let's get started. Mankind is beginning to understand that fossil fuel energy is not an inexhaustible resource, and even that some of it is dangerous for the planet. Thus, renewable energies are diversifying and appearing everywhere on the planet. Moreover, we're seeing more and more agreements with green energy suppliers. But the prices of electricity and gas are increasingly high. Renewable energies can be a partial solution for the future of humanity and the planet. They're currently the most promising solution for an environmental and ecological point of view. They are also less destructive than fossil fuels. This is at least what one of them presents, tidal energy. Tidal energy is the use of tide energy in the coastal areas with high tidal ranges. The tidal range is simply the difference in water height between high and low tide. This has been known for some time now. The tidal phenomenon is caused by the gravitational action of the moon and the sun in the ocean waters. Unlike tidal turbines, which capture the kinetic energy of tidal currents, the principle of tidal power is based on the potential energy. The tidal range is therefore used to produce electricity by relying on the difference of height between two bases separated by the dam. The Rand's power plant in Brittany was at one time the largest tidal power plant in the world. It was by far the most powerful with a capacity of 240 MW. But we'll talk about that a little further in this video. The use of tidal energy dates back a long time. It is said that the first tidal power plants date back to the ancient times. They were built on the Fleet River in London in ancient Rome. They were found throughout medieval Europe, including the Dore River in the 12th century. The principle of the tidal power plant is simple. By building a dam on the estuary of a river, for example, it allows the seawater to flow twice a day at high and low tide. In this case, a generator is used to produce electricity for turbines. A low tide, a dam can be closed to hold back the river water. It is used in traditional hydraulic plants. The tidal range must be at least 5 meters, and ideally between 10 to 15 meters to achieve the reasonable profitability. But today, the potential of tidal energy is hardly exploited. While the installed capacity is just over 500 megawatts, the total global potential is estimated at 160 gigawatts. This is equivalent to 380 terawatts of power per year of production. However, this potential is still low. Global hydraulic power generation from conventional dams are in excess onshore hydroelectricity. This was over 3,600 terawatts in 2012. Also, the electricity produced on site is not immediately distributed to consumers. It actually goes through a transformer to lower the voltage. This is a necessary process so that it can be used in your home. France only has one tidal power plant. This one is located in Rance, located in an industry with the highest tidal confidence in the world. It covers 17% of the electrical needs of Brittany. It is also surrounded by 750 meter long dam. It connects the villages of St. Malo and Denard. This construction has a lock of 65 meters long and 13 meters wide. The electricity is produced by 24 reversible bulb turbines. They're triggered by one direction by the rising tide and another direction by the falling tide. These 10 megawatt turbines then power 24 generators that supply electricity to 250,000 inhabitants. In 2011, the Rennes site was the largest tidal power plant in the world with a power of 240 megawatts. However, that has been replaced by the Lake Siwa power plant in North Korea, which is now the capacity of 254 megawatts. What is certain is that tidal power has several advantages. 
Some are really interesting and useful. For example, we're dealing with a renewable form of energy. It is an unlimited energy that you can get any time of the year. And it is clean energy that does not emit greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Moreover, tidal power plants are quiet because there is no noise pollution. We can say that it is predictable energy. Indeed, thanks to the scientific technologies process, it is possible to know when the tides will occur. This allows us to predict the amount of energy produced. Consequently, it allows us to adapt the design of the systems to the expected capacities. It is also energy efficient because of the density of water. It is important to know that the energy can be harvested by running turbines at low speed. The lifespan of a tidal power plant can exceed 100 years. Beyond the production of electricity, collaborative activities can add value. For example, linked agriculture, ports with new capacities and roads on dikes, as it is the case for Rance. The feedback from the Rance power plant concerns the protection of beaches against erosion, but also the possibility of step reservoirs to regulate the production of electricity from the other intermittent renewable energies. But we can imagine that there are not only advantages to tidal energy, indeed the production of electricity is intermittent. There are prediction periods of low flow or restriction. During these times, the turbine cannot operate at its full potential. In addition, the investment and maintenance cost is very high. It is also envisioned that tidal power could be developed in the locations other than the coastline. Several initiatives in the tidal project are based on the new concept. The Artificial Lagoon 2 is a product proposing a limitation of environmental impacts. Acting as an artificial lake, the lagoon could be filled up with water at a high tide. It would then be emptied through locks equipped with turbines. Previous studies have included three sites. These are the Swan Sea, the Servin in the UK, and the Yala in China. Thus, in the future, it is imagined that tidal power should be limited to a smaller number of coastal areas. They would present interesting tactical characteristics while meeting environmental and social acceptability issues. To cope with these unexpected coastal conditions, systems could be developed in the medium term in open seas. This would allow the restructuring of tidal reservoirs further from the shore. Do you think the concept could be feasible? Leave your impressions in the comments. With that thought, we've come to the end of our video. If you enjoyed the topic of the day, feel free to like this video. To enjoy other videos of the same kind, subscribe to the channel, and above all else, leave suggestions for our next topics in the comments. Activate the bell notification to be among the first to see our next video, and we hope to see you soon on ATEC.